What's going on, everybody? Man, Eric Wilson. Hey, National Scouting Combine 2024 is just around the corner, January 8th through the 12th at the Grand Park Events Center. So much talent, an opportunity for these young athletes to be seen and have themselves elevate their journey to the next level. Now, this young brother that I'm talking to today did not necessarily go the direction that most of the athletes who come into the National Scouting Combine. He went actually a different direction, still in the sports world, but kind of more in the media entertainment side of things. He became an NFL agent. So I definitely want to holler at this man. This is my man, NFL agent. Ty Schwab is in the building. Good afternoon, yes, sir. sir. What's going on? Thank you for having me, my man. Very excited to be on. Appreciate it, man. So do me a favor, man. Just remind the people who you are and talk to me a little bit about your experience at the National Scouting Combine. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ty Schwab, I played football at Boston College. I played linebacker my senior year, all ACC, 100 plus tackle season. Uh, had a had a great shot. Um, and while I was training I for the combine and for pro day, I, I fractured my foot. So I was battling an injury. First time going through it, right? Like I didn't know what that looked like. I hadn't been hurt before um, and been able to grit through and kind of grind through injuries, right? And um, not saying that I had a bad agent, like the dude was a good dude. He's a, he's a lawyer guy, business mind, but he didn't have the best direction um, for me as an athlete, like get the surgery or do this, see this doctor, right? So there's a lot that goes into being an agent. It's not just showing up on contract day, right? Um, so going through that, I, my love for the game, always have loved football. Uh, it's a true love. Like I, I've played it my whole life and Thoroughly enjoy playing it, watching it, being around it, going to games, the environment, everything about it um, hypes me up, right? So it's it's what it's what I love. So, and so, that, so I went to mini camp and and battled through, and okay. then went to and got an opportunity to go coach at the University of Florida. After um, loved coaching, but there's it's different, right? Like coaching's different. You you got to be you, your job's on the line at all times. Um, and you got to draw a line in the sand. You can't go out to dinner with the dudes. You can't really hang out with them. You're not, you're a mentor and, and a role model, but you're a coach, right? You got to make sure they're doing their job, uh, assignment protocol, right? Grading and, and being tough on them. I would watch film and, and uh, stretch with the guys and, and do a bunch of other stuff besides just coaching. And I realized like, I love being around the guys, right? Like I, you love the locker room. You love the the interaction and the friendships that are built because you guys are all built for the same thing and right. pushing towards the same mission was ball right playing ball so, so that's when really you looked at that and you and you ultimately you know like you said your experience with your your agent wasn't the best right. you decided then that to find kind of the best niche and the best fit for you was to take on the role of an NFL agent. So yeah. talk to me about what that looked like, what that progression looked like, and more importantly, the transition to go from athlete to coach to now agent. For sure. Uh, so when I was coaching, I still wanted to ball. So I'm around all these dudes. I'm lifting. I'm training. I'm trying to get healthy and get back active. And I'm calling coaches. I'm calling agents. I'm calling everybody and their mom, right? Like, that's what you do. You got to get a job. So while I'm coaching, I'm training, I'm mentoring and, and doing all these things and i was trying to get ultimately back to playing ball so i got into the aaf league that league folded after four or five weeks um then got a job with a financial um a financial company here in my hometown in brevard florida um so i was a relationship manager and they were cool with me they knew i still wanted to ball so they were cool with me being a relationship guy bringing dudes in setting up meetings setting up events so i set up some draft parties um, a lot more on a different side, but still kind of leading towards management, right? Like mm -hmm. leading that way and learning and getting getting my hands and, and figuring things out. Um, and then XFL came around um, and got an opportunity to play in the XFL was a beautiful thing. And that's right around the time where I, I went to your guys' combine, right? Because slow feet don't eat. You got to be active. If you're not in the league right now, you got it's a what have you done for me lately business and then exactly. the nfl stands for not for long exactly. so you gotta you gotta go showcase yourself and you gotta put yourself out there especially someone with me i didn't get to do my pro day i didn't get to do any of those because i was injured and battling that um so it was a great opportunity for me to get in front of you guys uh network 
build, meet more people and, and showcase my skills as an athlete and as a person. You know, you're, you're there to talk with people and, and and get to know the industry and the business side of the game. Um, and obviously you don't know that really going. You're just balling. You're like, what do I what's ball? Let's watch film. Let's eat. Let's lift. Let's get right. So there's a whole other aspect that you don't really think of while you're an athlete, you know? Right. So, so then talk to me about it. Because like you said, you did show up to the National Scouting Combine. And then talk to me about how the Combine ultimately prepared you for this goal of, you know, like you said, still wanting to ball, but knowing that there were different avenues there prepping you for that next level so that you were multifaceted. You weren't just one dimensional. You weren't a one trick right. pony. You right. knew based on your previous injury that if something like this were to happen, you had the mental mindset to say, OK, I can still be a part of the game without yep. being actually in the game. Talk to me about yep. how the combine prepared you for that. For sure. Um, I mean, like you said, you get in, you do interviews, you talk, you stand there, take photos, you uh, run your 40s, you're chatting with coaches, figuring out defense or offensive scheme terminology. So you're constantly working the game and you're around dudes that love the game. Um, all former athletes are involved and, and you guys are all pushing to help dudes get recruited that aren't top, top guys. They're battling against the grain, um, which is a beautiful thing, man. I like getting it out the mud. That's the best way in my eyes to get it right. If, if people are doubting you or whatever, show me, go train for six months and show up to a combine. That's an opportunity for you to showcase yourself and, and get in front of somebody. It, it only takes one person uh, to like you and want to bring you on to a team or, or, or whatever it may be. Right. Um, even when I was in the XFL, I, I ended up getting people reaching out to me saying, Oh, you want to coach again? And, and for this one that just went up, right? Like I was in the XFL 2020, then COVID hit. Right. Um, but if this one, I had some coaches hit me up saying, Oh, you want to get back involved coaching? Um, you know, I, I, I like coaching, but I'd rather be able to coach and manage and liaison and set things up and contract advise and, do the whole thing, you know, and build a little bit of a family. I get to pick which guys I want to work with. I'm not just going to work with anybody. I uh, don't care if they're for, I'm not, it's not for the money, right? It's, I'm going to get athletes paid more. That's the goal. And that's what an agent does, but I'm in it to build a family, have athletes that want to mentor and give back once they're out of the league and be involved with guys coming up and teaching them and, and giving them inside access to, yo, this is this is what it looks like at the National Scouting Combine. This is what it looks like at Pro Day. This is what it looks like at the NFL Combine. You get inside access from athletes being involved. That's a beautiful thing, man. And and I'm all about bringing people together, and, and uh, that's really what's led me to be here. A lot of people don't know the process of it, but you need to have uh, a master's. So after the XFL in 2020, COVID hit, so I went and got my master's done, sports management. Uh, then you apply to take the test. It only offers once a year. So just took it, just passed. So I'm hyped, man. I'm excited to get into this new space and, and help hey, dudes man. out. Congratulations, really. That That is awesome to see the, the transition that you have made and knowing that it's not just, listen, everybody's got that plan A. But yeah. we all know that things can take a course that maybe not go the direction that we anticipate them going or we want them to go. So the fact that you could now fall back on something that you knew you still wanted to be a part of, but do it in a different direction while still maintaining that plan A mentality of, listen, yes. it doesn't shock me to get back in the game. I'm going to get back in the game. But as right. Snoop Dogg would say, in the meantime and in between time, let me go ahead and make that money. Let me right. go ahead and find that niche that's going to allow me to still be a part of what I love. But then the best part that I love is the fact that you are bringing up the next and showing yes. them how to be successful and how to make sure that they take care of themselves, their family and create that that legacy that a lot of people sometimes don't focus on and really think about until yeah. after the fact. So you know, right, man. much love to you. Thank you so much for being a part of this today, man. Listen, if you if you around January 8th through the 12th, you already know where we're going to be at. Let's go Come through, man. Talk to the guys. Talk to these young athletes. Let them know what life is like. And, hey, you might just find yourself a couple guys who will be very interested to join your family. Yeah, man, I'd love that. I appreciate you having me on, man. No, Hey, much love, brother. Your yes, man, Eric sir. Wilson, National Scouting Combine, man. This is my man, NFL agent, Ty Schwab. Hey, yes, all my athletes coming to the Combine, you need to check this brother out. Everybody stay blessed. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.